What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be walking my, my buddy, my client, Rocky, through the setup of a Facebook video ad. This is where we're headed in 2023, you guys, is video, 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 but most importantly, tracking the video, right? Tracking those who actually engage, tracking those who actually watch a percentage. Retargeting is what it's all about, you guys. So after you know speaking with just many, many people in these past few years on Facebook advertising, on Instagram advertising, and just marketing in general online, I truly believe my my professional opinion, 99% of it is all about retargeting. When you see a brand or when you see a post or when you see an individual, psychologically, we have to see that again, especially if that person is asking for something, right? If it's someone selling something or if it's someone offering someone or if it's someone trying to get you to click, psychologically, as a consumer, we have to see something multiple times. And that's advertising 101. The consumer has to see something seven to eight times before they make a decision or before they buy. That's this case. That, that That's what we're doing here, you guys. So when people put out one ad and they come back and say, David, I didn't get anything from it. No one knows you yet. Right. So so what I what I try to teach in the very, very beginning is introduce yourself, put out that first video of you simply letting the world know what you do, your background, your experience, your business, why you're so fired up to help people, why you're serving people, your business, like what who, who is you and what's that what's that what's that unique thing about you? It comes out through video, you guys. And that's why a majority of you guys are seeing this are all on either Facebook or YouTube. It's video. And so as we go into marketing and as we go into really setting up Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and it could be any platform, pick your favorite platform. Facebook and Instagram continue to dominate. So that's why we're still we're still marketing over here. But as you really break out and put out video, I'm going to walk you through detailed step by step today with Rocky on what the best practices are. Step one step two, step three, and really how to integrate it all. Because again, as you put out video, you want to make sure that you're tracking those who watch a percentage so you can retarget and show them your second one. As you put out that second video, you're tracking those who watch that, who, who watch a percentage of that one, and you're retargeting those, one, those ones with, with video number three. So all you want to do, you guys, is make sure that if you're going to spend money, you got to retarget your audience. You got to retarget those who are engaging. So in today, I'm going to be walking Rocky through... Um, the, what I call three steps of a successful Facebook video ad, and let's get to it. So, step one, you guys, is what I is what I always recommend, and that's posting the video on your business page first. So, in this case, Rocky, he simply recorded the video from home on his cell phone, keeping it super simple, uploaded it to Dropbox from his cell phone and then came over here on his computer, downloaded that file and then uploaded it straight to his business page. Or some of you guys can just simply record it on your phone and, and upload it straight to your business page as well. But this is this is an easy way to do it here as well using leveraging Dropbox. Some people leverage um, Google Drive. With your Google Drive, you could do the same thing as Dropbox. But the video has to come here first. That's step one. It's posting the video and, and writing out all the text. So you wanna make sure that there's no grammar errors, there's periods and, 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 and commas where they need to go because once we set up the, the text and the video, and once we post it here, we can always edit it and change it in the future, which is what Rocky and I just did a few minutes ago. We edited, we noticed a word was missing, so we simply edited. But once we actually go and set up the ad in the ads manager, which is what we're going to do next, that's step two, you can no longer edit the text. So you want to make sure that everything is 100% is um um, perfect here on, on the post. So there it is there, Rocky. That's step one is posting it on the business page. Go ahead and click save. And then step two is to now take that video and, and set it up as an ad in the ads manager. So let's go ahead and go to our folder um, and we'll go straight to the ads manager. Again, step one is posting that on their business on your business page first. Um, and the reason why I recommend posting it, some there's two ways you can you can run you can run this ad. One way is exactly what we just did. We posted it on the business page first. That's one way. That's the way I teach. That's the way I was I was always taught, and and that's what I try to try to teach consistently today. Is post it there first, and then the second way is is just like what you did, Rock. You you uploaded it to Dropbox, and then you download that file to your computer. The second way you could you could run this ad is where you just simply go through the steps that I'm going to take you through here, and then once we get to the third step, the ad tab, then you can just upload that file from your computer, right? That's the second way. That's that's one way people do it is they'll just simply upload the file from their computer. The reason why I don't do it that way is because the second way, 
when you're uploading it from your computer, the post is not on your business page. You're kind of running the ad behind the scenes, right? You simply just uploaded the file from your computer here. You didn't do it to your business page. You did it here. So therefore, the ad is just running behind the scenes. It's running from your business page for sure. So if I were to see the ad in the newsfeed, I'm going to see your, your, your business page. I'm going to see everything for sure. But the post is not public on the business page. Whereas, whereas that's what I had you do right now. That's option one. So one way to do it is to post it there first. The reason why I do it that way, option one and not option two, is because I the way I figure it, figure it, figure it is if we're going to spend money on this post and get engagement and get people to like it and share it and comment and people are going to view it, especially with the with the objective we're going to use, which is awareness. I want that. I want that post to, to stay there forever. I want people to come here in five months and see that post with 700 views. I want them to come and see that post in nine months and see 15 different comments and everybody shared it. I want that credibility. That's what we call social proof. When I can see a post and there's thousands of views on it, that's quote unquote social proof. And that happened because you ran the ad. But when the general public sees it in five months, they don't know, they don't, they don't know, they don't care. They don't, they don't know there was an ad writ, you know, ran. They just see a post on your business page with all this engagement and it actually looks credible. It actually looks good. And so that's why I always want to post it on the business page first. Let it live forever. Let it be public and and let 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 all this engagement show for, from this point on. So that's the like ad that we got going on right now, the, the new engagement campaign. So that one, we're going to let that one run. And now here we're going to click the green button. And just set up this next ad. So this ad, you guys, this is an intro video. Rocky is just on camera introducing himself, right? He's kicking butt in the credit industry. Um, click the green button. And, and he's just given a, a simple background, his background, his experience, why he's so excited, how long he's been in the business. It's a simple intro video that I always teach and recommend that you put out to your audience first. Um, the like ad is what we're running to, to everyone, to multiple countries, just to get the like count up and, and give the page credibility. But now as we move into our first local ad, this is the first ad, an intro video. And our whole objective with this is to simply build awareness, is to find our audience, is to get those people that actually watch a percentage of it so we can then put them in our custom audience, which is step three, and use to retarget in the future. So there's only one objective with this. It's awareness. It's to get it's to get literally thousands of people to view it, to really find our warm audience. And then we, again, use that audience to retarget. So this one's going to go awareness. This is awareness. And this is really this is really the only video that you'll do, the only post, the only video that you'll do awareness from from let's, let's call this ad number two, because technically it is. It's ad number two. Ad number two, this one's going to your local market. This is the first ad going to your local audience. But as you go to ad number three and on, that's when you can start going for leads, right? That's when you'll start driving people to a landing page or even using a Facebook lead form to capture information. That's leads. And that's that's really ad number three and on. So again, here we're going to go awareness and we'll hit continue. So if you're in any of the special ad categories which rocky happens to be in the credit industry so he falls in the special ad category you always want to make sure you hit the drop down and choose your category so if you're in if you're in the real estate uh space and you in in, in you're in housing you always got to go housing if you're employment and you're actually trying to look for for, for people to hire employment credit social issues yeah. Um, now, let's say, for example, you don't choose one of those. All that's going to happen is Facebook will email you in a few hours saying, hey, your ad was rejected. That's really that's really it. So so don't worry about, you know, if you don't choose the right one off the bat. But I'm telling you right now, it's simple. You're either you're either in one of these four. And if you are, then choose that choose that category. OK, credit. Perfect. And then we're going to scroll down and that's it. So step one of running a Facebook ad and even Instagram ad is choosing the objective. In this case, we chose awareness. If you're in any of these categories. You're going to you're going to hit the drop down and choose your category, which this one has to be happens to be credit. That's it. That's step one. Now we click on the next button and go over to step two. OK, so now on step two, this is what we call the ad set level on step two. All we're doing here is choosing our budget. We're choosing the calendar date on when to start the ad, when to end the ad. We're choosing the targeting. We're choosing the placement. That all happens in this one step, which is tab number two, the ad set level. So um, normally I'll, I'll I'll name everything at the top and give it give 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 it a title each each 
each level has its own title. So right there, the new awareness ad set. We'll, after we're done completing everything below, we'll come back up and we'll rename um, the top. So start. let's just start with the page. Facebook page, always make sure that's your right page. Um, and then scroll down the budget. You can, this, this is brand awareness. So you can literally go as, as you can go five bucks a day for sure. You can go, even go as low as two bucks a day. You can go two bucks a day and start to get hundreds of people in your local area to start to see your video. In fact, let me show you a quick example really quick. Here's an example of, of one of my real estate clients who is running this video to her local area under awareness at a, at a, at a daily budget of $2, $2. Over and it's only been running. So today's today is today's the 16th. So it was posted on the business page on the 12th. It went live on the 13th. So it's only been live for not even three complete days. It went from zero views to over 400. And that's on two dollars a day. These are 400 people that literally live within a 15 mile radius of her residence. So that's why what. 99% of businesses do, whether it's real estate, whether it's selling credit like Rocky, no matter what it is, what 99.99% of all of you guys do is simply just put the video up on your business page when you only, when you may have, let's say you have a few hundred people that like it. In this case, she has a few thousand, but these likes are all over the place. So if you're just posting video on your Facebook business page and just organically placing it there thinking that that's actually going to bring you your your audience it's not it's not that's why moving into 2023 you have to be running these video ads you have to be running these videos as ads bottom line and i'm just showing you this to show you that you don't even need to spend a lot you do not even need to be spending a lot now now lead that's when you only need to spend a little bit more so if we were running under the lead objective and our whole objective is to capture a lead then yeah you want to be at at least 10 bucks a day because you got to just be keep it real with yourself. And that's why with real estate agents, they're making five, six grand per deal. I'm like, how can you not spend 20 bucks a day? Like, how can you, or not, not, not that the, not, not just the fact that how, how can you not just the fact that how can you not think of it? Like, how can, how can you not just kind of justify, okay, spending 25 bucks a day? I mean, shit, if I was making five to six, seven grand per deal, I'd be probably spending 50 bucks a day, a hundred bucks a day. Right. Because 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 the, the commission that I'm making off of it, if I were to just close one, I would be super profitable. That's why in, in your case, Rocky, when you really start to put the numbers in play, what do we make per deal? Right. What do you make per client? What do you make per deal? If if, if you're making a good amount, let's just call it even if, if I'm just making five hundred, if I'm just making five hundred dollars when I close a deal, the way I want want to be thinking is spending at least five hundred a month. Because if I can spend at least 500 a month on Facebook ads, if I can close, if I can get one closed deal and I make 500 and I break even, yes, I didn't crazy profit off of that, but I broke even. And on top of it, I also, at spending that much, yes, I only got one deal out of it. I broke even. But what you also have to take into account is all the data that you generated, all the data that you gathered. From, from the custom audiences, which that's step three, and I'm going to show you how to do that after we set up the ad. But it's also the fact that my 500, yes, it brought in one paid client and I broke even. But what I also got out of it is all the custom audience, the custom audiences. So I'm able to track in Facebook those who watched it. I'm able to track those in Facebook of who commented, who liked it, who shared it. And I can put those people in an audience and retarget so my 500 didn't just just didn't just get me one paid client where I broke even. My 500 also got me all this data and and it got me a ton of leads. Because I didn't just I didn't just get one lead and close that one deal and that was it. I probably got a ton of leads and out of all these leads I just closed one. So no matter how you look at it, it's profit no matter how you look at it it's 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 an investment in, in advertising for sure but there's no there's no negative to it at all especially when you're when you have a a, a good pri a good commission when there when there's a good price point there to be sold you, i want you thinking bigger right and so in this case again andrea she's able to get hundreds and and this is just started we're going to be running this for the next 30 days 
So by the time we're done spending two bucks a day, we're going to have thousands of people that viewed it in her local area. That's my point. Stop posting videos, you guys, just for the hell of it. Run it to your audience. Run it to your audience. And in this case, we're running to her local audience at two bucks a day and getting and, and, gonna, and, and we're going to get thousands of people down the street to see her face. That's brand awareness. That's brand awareness. And, and that's this intro video. So that's what we're doing at Rocky. So go ahead and, go ahead and share your screen, Rock. It's not only that, but mm -hmm. that you also, you, you're building residual, residual over a period of time too. So you're actually scaling your business by, my, you might not say, say don't do one sale, but yet you're scaling your business to the point where every month you got a yes, residual man. of you yes. know, re repeated you know, audience yep. that you can look at. And so mm -hmm. your potential to grow from that is, is exponential. Yes, man. Yes. And, 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 and that's why narrowing it in, right? Some people try to try to run ads to the entire country. Some even run ads around the world. It's like, no, like if, especially if you have a niche business and, and even if you have a niche demographics or a location, focus in on just that. Like, that's why with you, we broke it down to not just the state. We broke it down to the city. We said, rock, no, let's dominate Eugene, take over Eugene. Right. And so as you really start to put these videos out and, 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 and we do it the right way. We're creating the audiences and, and then leveraging that to retarget before you know it, man, you're not going to be able to go to the grocery store without people asking for your autograph because you're going to be so known in that, in that town because of what we're doing here. Um, so I'm super fired up for you. So daily budget, again, it could be five bucks a day. It could be as low as two bucks a day. Just, um, whatever, whatever you want to do there on the daily budget. So go ahead and change okay. out that, um, Change out that five to whatever. So the date, I'll always set the date, depending on the time of day that we're actually setting this up, which happens to be the morning. So we're good. So I'll always set it for the next day at 6 a.m. Okay. So let's go, let's go, let's go 17th, December 17th. Um, and we'll go 6 a.m. And then you can put an end date for sure. I, I I would probably just let it run. Let it run for 30 days. So put the 17th here. Let's change out that time to 6 a.m. And then we'll do um, – and again, you can let it run. And then you can just come in here and turn it off whenever you want. Or you can actually put an end date to it. So um, just so you don't and, – and even when you put an end date, you could still come in here and shut it off way prior. So so you can do whatever you want. But but just for the heck of it, put an end date. Put an end date and 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 go 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 for the next thirty days. Run it to January seventeenth. And again, if you want to shut it off in 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 the middle, you can totally do that as well. Um, six a.m. to six a.m. And again, you guys, our whole objective here. This is the intro video. So we want to go after our local audience. We want to get thousands of people in that little in that little city there to see this video, and that's the whole objective. So we can then build the custom audience and retarget in the future. That's worth two bucks a day um, <clears throat> for any of your videos that you're putting out here on Facebook. So December 17th to the, to the to January 17th, perfect. We're good there. So now scroll down. And um, so now we come down to the locations. We don't need any custom audiences. That's what we're that's what we're building. We're building our custom audiences. Go back up, scroll back up to the custom audiences. So in the future, ad number, let's call it right here. Call it ad number four and on, for example. At that point, we would have had a few audiences. So that's when we'll be able to click inside there and you'll see a drop down of all the audiences that you created, which is that one. That was the first audience that we did on our first training call was we created that audience. Now we don't want to retarget that audience because that audience is not is not big at all. So we won't retarget it. We'll leave it there. Um, but that that was our first audience. So just going back through our our our, our first few trainings, step one was customizing your links. And that's what we spent on call one, right, Rock? It's just linking yes. everything, customizing everything, and making sure that your links are all optimized. And then call two, we set up your business manager. And that's when we actually created the, the, the people who engage with any post. We created that as our first custom audience. So we set up our folder. Let's take, click on your folder, your bookmark folder real quick, FB business manager. That was call two, FB business manager, right? So at this point, click on your folder at the top. We have all of our bookmarks in order um <clears throat> your folder fb business manager so oh, just click on the, the little folder so so that was called two where we just set up and bookmarked the the only seven tabs we'll ever need from this point on and so that audience that you see there in the drop down is is there in the custom audience bookmark 
And then, and then, and then on, on our, on our third call, we went in and we ran the like ad. So now, now we're almost at a couple thousand likes on just a few bucks spent so far. That's step three is running that like ad. And now step four, we're here running our intro video ad. That's where we're at right now is getting this intro video out and, 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 and just saying hello to our local market. That's what this is all about. And then, and then our next call and on, well, that's when we're diving, dive, diving into building our pages and building our landing pages and really getting all that primed and, and, and optimized. So we're right on track. So no custom audiences here needed. Scroll down. We'll get out, get away from the custom audiences. Let's scroll down. So now you're going to just simply X out of the United States. So hover over the United States, X that out. And let's, let's only focus in on Eugene. So type in, and here's two ways to do it. You can, you can type in the city Eugene. Or you can type in your actual address. Now, maybe not your, and no one sees this part. This is all internal. So, so you can type in your actual physical address and and build a build a fifteen mile radius. I think it's ten mile radius in your industry of credit. But you build a ten mile radius, and it'll let us know right here once we once we type it in. But you build it around where you live. Like right here, if if I if I was building my local area, I'd probably just type in my physical address and build a radius around where I live, right? Or I can type in the general city and just and just target the entire city. So it's up to you. So here, this is super important right here because each one here is different, right? People living in or recently in, people living in, people recently in, people traveling. So based on 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 you knowing your area, like what would you say the best? targeting would be people that recently people came here <clears throat> or is it people living in people live in the location yeah go with that one so the second one down so this is going to be your targeting from this point on okay so from this point on we're going after people who live in this location and again right there in the search search locations you can type in eugene for sure or you can even be more narrow and niche and go off of an address so and you're always looking for um, the city. Yeah, there you go, city. See, so so 15 miles around the actual city or 15 miles around where I live, there is a difference. And, and depending on how big the city is, like I don't know how big Eugene is, but but typically, like if I were to do San, if I were to type in San Diego, it would give me like I, I'd be I'd be all over San Diego when when maybe that's not even my area like different parts like for example north san diego is like miles away from me right east san diego is miles away from me so if i'm only doing business in my niche local area i would go my address right yeah and, and where that drop pin is at that's pretty much right where i live at perfect perfect yeah. so then so then that becomes a target and this is super important because you want to you want to you want to you want to just focus in on this on whatever we put here from this point on I don't want to vary away. I don't want to, I don't want to, um, um, not vary, but I don't want to, I don't want to lean away or I don't want to, um, um, what, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. I don't want to stray away. I don't want to stray away from what I put here. Like what I put here is going to be my stomping grounds and I'm going to dominate that area, whatever I put here. So that's why I always try to make it clear. What is the address better or, or is it the actual city? So in this case, you're saying the city. Yes. Perfect. Run with that. That's it. Perfect. Run with that. Okay, cool. Let's scroll down. Age. I don't think you can change age in your special ad category. Hit 18. See if you can change the age. I don't think you can in credit. Um, yeah. See, so so no age. You don't need to change the age. No gender. We don't need to change that. So, so click out. Um, gender. Detail targeting. You don't even need detail targeting because you're targeting such a local area where Facebook let their algorithm, let their AI find that client or find that potential client for you leverage leverage facebook um when you're targeting nationwide it's good to put some detail targeting to really narrow in nationwide but but not when i'm targeting a local area like just target the whole area dominate the whole area um and then facebook again will will start to weed out those who are not your ideal client to to those that are that are facebook leverage their platform so we're good there nothing there scroll down scroll down placements this is where this is where you this this is where testing comes in so one ad we'd run advantage plus placement another ad we would run manual placement and all that is so when you leave it on advantage placement when you leave it there facebook's going to place it everywhere and everywhere is click on manual placements and then scroll down everywhere 
<clears throat> is everything you see checked. So scroll down platforms, look at everything checked, hover over everything. So scroll down placements. You got all these check marks down below. Okay. So when you leave it advantage plus placement, Facebook <clears throat> just places it everywhere. Now, sometimes everywhere, if it, sometimes that's to most, I would probably sound, sound good, right? Like, like it kind of sounds good. Like let Facebook place it everywhere. Like it kind of sounds good, but not really when you, when you really run ads and you really start to look at the metrics and you really start to learn this type of stuff, not really, because not everywhere on Facebook is, is there, is there, is there more engaged? Like, for example, like, like scroll down, search stories and reels um apps and 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 sites like each piece of the facebook platform gets a different form of engagement right so so people that are looking at apps and sites are not as many people as those that are scrolling through their news feed people that are looking at ads in article there's not that's not as many people that are actually scrolling through the news feed Right. So so in some cases, we'll leave it advantage and just let Facebook place it on all these damn platforms. But when the budget is not the biggest, in this case, it's, it's we're going literally two bucks a day just to get the brand awareness out and get and target this local area. So in, 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 with, with a budget like that, I would remove all this. So I would only put my budget towards the highest piece of real estate, the highest form of engagement on Facebook. And that happens to be the feed. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to uncheck we're, right now, scroll back up a little bit. Right now we're in manual placement. Manual placement just simply gives us the ability to uncheck all these other ones that I don't want my ad on. That's what manual placement allows us to do, right? So we're going to go manual placement because again of the budget, it's not the biggest. So we want to really leverage those $2 per day and, and, and get it to the highest engaged piece of real estate on Facebook, which is the newsfeed. So all we're going to do here, again, we're going manual placement. We're going to uncheck Instagram. We're going to uncheck audience network <clears throat> and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to simply open up these placements down below feeds start there. No, no, right there. Right, right, right. Feeds, sure. click on feeds, go ahead and click on that one. And, right and yeah, click on, it's either click there or click the little um, line to the right. Yeah. Click on that one. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. So, so now uncheck. So stories and reels, click on stories and reels. See if anything opens up there. Stories and reels, just click on the word stories and reels. Yeah, we don't, we don't want that one checked. Okay, cool. So just uncheck everything else. That's all you're doing. Uncheck everything else. So you're leaving the feeds. You're letting that video run in the news feed and the news feed only. Okay, that's it. <clears throat> so make sure there's nothing else to check. That's it. So now scroll back up. Make sure we only have... <clears throat> okay, per, actually the Instagram one. Uncheck that Instagram one. Yeah, that one. Actually, okay, go ahead and do it again. Click, yeah. Do the yeah, check check that one and then check the Facebook one. Okay, do the Facebook one. There we go. Okay, so we're on the Facebook one. So scroll down and let's just look at um just a bit. Scroll down, look at this feeds. So go ahead and click on um click on click on that that the little arrow to the left of the word feeds right here in the placement. So yeah, click on that one. Yeah, I knew it dropped down more. Okay, cool. So here. We're going Facebook feed, we're going marketplace, we're going video feeds, um, and then uncheck the the Facebook Business Explorer. Uncheck the Facebook groups feed. Okay, and then we're good. So now scroll back up. So we have three, three of 17 placements. So all they're saying is that, actually, no, we're good. We're good. Perfect. So just let it there, let it run there and scroll down, make sure there's nothing else checked. Um and then hit the left arrows on on each one because it does open up. So hit those left arrows on each one. Just just start hitting them. Okay. So un do the next one. Okay. Cool. Cool. Make sure everything is unchecked. Messages, search, and stream. Okay. Good. Everything is unchecked. Okay. Perfect. We're good. That's that's manual placement. So we just want to make sure that that we're just doubling down where the most engagement is at, and that's the feed. We're good. Okay. Scroll down, and that's it. That's step two. So, so just to recap, scroll all the way up to the top, go from top to bottom. All we did here is we, 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 we put in our budget. We did the calendar, scroll down. We did, we did the location. Um, we're going Eugene, 15 miles, people living in this location. And then we did the placement. That was it. That's step two. That's it. And then we go next. Now we're on the third and final step. 
And these steps apply to any ad that we're trying to run, lead ad, engagement, traffic, in this case, awareness. It's all the same. So these are the three steps. Um, and so now here, all we're going to do is we're going to simply make sure that our Facebook business page is lined up right there, which it is. And then we're going to scroll down to add setup right where you see create ad. That create ad right here, that create ad is if you were to do option two and simply not put it on the business page first and just simply grab that file from your computer, right? That's running it behind the scenes. We're not going to do it that way. So we're going to hit the drop down, create ad, hit that drop down. Nope, up, scroll up, create oh, ad. Okay. There we go. Okay, create ad, the drop down, hit that drop down. <clears throat> I'm trying to get right there. And then we're going to use existing post. So we post it on the business page first. We come back here and we use existing post and select post. Go ahead and click on right there, add creative, select post right below, select post. Okay, so there is that post. So all you're going to do is just simply click on that first one and then hit continue. And now that we just put it in, in line for an ad, now we cannot go back there and change the text, right? So now that's that's why I keep mentioning make sure the text is 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 up to par because we can no longer change it. So now we're good. So so there there is the video. Um, start conversation. You can you can you can have a con an automated conversation going. So if someone hits a send message button, then then you can have a series of messages go out. But that's not really this type of ad. This type of ad is designed. The objective is awareness. So it, it, it's it's designed for one thing and one thing only, and it's to get views. That's it. It's to get people to watch it. That's it. It's not to get people to click, go to a web page, give up their information. It's not that type of ad. It's simply for awareness. So the send message button is not even the most important right now. So we'll leave it as is. Scroll down, and that is it. So we're going to make sure, yeah, no tracking is even really needed because we're going to set up the tracking in the custom audience tab. So we don't need anything there. Click publish, and that's it. Here, when you publish it, you're always, always, always looking for the publishing one of three to turn green just like that. Okay, you're always, always, always waiting it for wait, waiting for it to turn green. And the reason why I'm I'm bringing this part up is because sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't. Some one will click the publish button and it never fully published. And you'll think that your ad is set to go live when it never turned green like that, okay? When it doesn't turn green like that, because this may happen, and that's why I'm going to spend a little bit of time on it. When it doesn't turn green like that, it's going to be stuck in blue. It would have been stuck saying publishing one of three. So you didn't wait in here. You would, we would have been waiting, 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 waiting. It would have been publishing one of three. It would have just been blue and not proceed. Like it would have not continued it would have just stayed stuck when that happens all you do is open up another tab come back to the ads manager go ahead and do that open up another tab because this is super important because you're this this will this will happen hit open up another tab no just open up another tab okay hit the plus sign and then go to your ads manager so your folder your bookmarks go to ads manager so so in the case that it gets stuck what you're going to see is the blue button in the top right hand corner or the button I should say you're gonna say the you're gonna see the blue you're gonna see the button in the top right hand corner turn blue and that's review and publish so that button that's right there at the top get rid of this black bar hit the X yeah you don't need that one so so this button right in the top right above the calendar review and publish you see that button which is that <clears throat> top right top right review and top publish right. Okay. Above the calendar. Yes, yeah, right here. Okay. That would have been blue. Okay. All you would have did is clicked on it, and then you would have saw the, the green publish button there, and you publish it there. That's it. And then and then and then it'll fully go through fully go through publishing three of three and it'll turn green. That's how you do it. Okay. So now go back to the other tab, the ads manager. And let's just um, close out that one. So we're, we don't need this tab. You could just go back to that other ads manager that's open to the left. Yeah, just work out of this one. Okay, perfect. So we're good. So now all we're going to do now. So step one, posting it on the business page first. Step two, going through this whole entire ad setup. Now the calendar, we could easily set that to go live at any date. So let's go. So so right here to the left, these are the three, the three steps that we just went through. We're on step three. Click on the middle one. Click on the middle one. New awareness ad set. 
So I know you don't want this ad to go live the next day. So here is the, now is the time to, to, to play around with it and change it. Once this ad goes live, you don't want to do any changes, right? Once it goes live, let's say it went live tomorrow at 6 a.m., don't change it anymore. If you messed up on something, turn it off and do the whole thing, re redo the whole ad. Do not come in here and make changes once the ad is live. Don't change the budget. Don't change the targeting. Don't change anything um, once the ad is live. But again, since it's not in this case, we can always come in here and mess around and do whatever we want. So I know in this case, you didn't want the ad to go live tomorrow. So let's change that. So scroll okay. down to the, to the calendar and, and just that date, change out that date. So set it for whatever. It, can, it could be next week. It'd be next month, whatever. Just set it, set it for whatever. 19th and then change out the end date go go to january 19th and so here's what you're going to do so so in the case that so in rocky's case rocky's like you know what, david i don't know if this video is the one i want to rock with so so i'm, I'm going to do a few more this weekend and and maybe I'll, I'll i'll change it to that in that case no problem all you got to do so so publish it go to publish it click the green one you're publishing this step and and putting this back in 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 order to be processed and reviewed so, so now let's, okay, so let's close out top left, close out X, hit the X in the top left. So, so, so yeah. as we, yeah, right there. So as we now move into the next few days and, and, and you go and get the new, the next video done. Okay, cool. And then, and then go ahead and hit the one selected, one selected, one selected, the blues at the top, go ahead and X those out. Yeah. Hit the X, hit the X. Okay. So now let's come back to the campaigns tab. So click, okay, so here, here we are on the campaigns tab. And it's always good to name everything as well. So go ahead and, so, so right below the title, new awareness campaign, hover over it and click on the pencil to the right, the pencil to the right, click on that. Okay, I always name everything, right? You wanna name your post, you wanna name your video, you wanna name the image, whatever, give it a name. So in this case, it's simply your intro video, right? It's your intro video. And take away all that, delete all that, delete all that. And, and just customize it. Something that's gonna gonna allow you to to really know which ad that is, right? I want to come in here, look at the dashboard, and know exactly what that what ad that is. Because if I don't describe it here in the title, I'm gonna have to click on it, go into it, see what ad it was, see what video it was, because I never gave it a, a a a good brief description here, right? So introduction, introduction, perfect. And then and then in parentheses, introduction of myself video, perfect. In parentheses, in parentheses, away from video, so on the on the side of video, so go to the very end. In parentheses, awareness. No, introduction of myself video, after video, so go, put the cursor after after the word video. So okay, after the word video. Okay. Yeah, so go to the end, yeah. And then, and then in parentheses, awareness. So in parentheses, I'll simply name the objective that I chose on this first step, awareness. Right, that's the objective. So, so I'll always put that in parentheses in in the title. So hit publish, and and that's that. Publish, that's great. Bottom right, publish. I can't see it down here. Well, it's right below the title, right, right where you typed. It says publish right below it. Oh, okay, great to hear me. Yeah, publish. Okay, so so now yeah. you can look at the dashboard and know exactly what ad that was. And you can do the same titling on the middle tab, the ad set tab, or the or, and and some similar titling on on the campaign tab. But just right here, or, yeah, the ad tab. I should say to the very right, the third tab. But here, right here on the campaign, as long as I could just title that, then I'm good, right? Because this is the first step you're looking at is is the campaign tab always. So here, right there, you know exactly what what ad that was. So that was step two. Step two was setting up the ad to go live. And so now, if you want to change out that video. All you're going to do is simply come to the third tab. So you're going to make sure that you're in this ad. So you're going to always check the box, right? You're in the campaign tab. Check the box. That's the ad we want to work with right here. So the box is already checked. Now what I want to do is I want to go to the third tab because it was in the third tab where my ad is at. So once you create a new video, go ahead and click on that. Once you click on it, once you go out and create a new video, all you're going to do is post it on the business page just like you did this one. Okay, so step one is just post on the business page, write out the text, maybe copy the same text from this one, no big deal, post it there first. And then all you're going to do is come back here. You check the box on the first campaign tab. Now we clicked on this tab, and now all you're going to do is click on edit. Right below the title, new awareness ad, click on edit. 
And all you're going to do now is come in here and you're doing this before the ad goes live, right? If the ad were to go live, don't mess with it no more. Turn it off and just redo it, right? No big deal. But but if if we're catching it prior to it going live, then yeah, we can make as many changes as we want right now. So in this case, all I would do is I would scroll down, scroll down, and then I can simply um, change right here. I can change post. Right. Go ahead and click on it. Change post. So so as you put up that next post, you would see it right there. Click on it. Continue. Then you hit the green publish button at the bottom and that's it. OK. OK, so that would have been the new post. Click on publish. Go ahead and click on publish anyways, because there was a little. Yeah, just go ahead and click on publish. So that would have been the new post and you would have been off to the races come next week or whatever date you set to, to for it to go live okay? okay so that's step two now the third and final step the third and final step x out of this um top left let's x out and now we're going to simply go to you want x out of this okay yeah so so no top left yeah all we're going to just come back to the dashboard and and now our third and final step we can either click the three lines to the top left or we can go to our bookmarks. It's all about the bookmarks, man. Yeah, so or you can navigate bookmarks. through here for sure. You can you can for sure navigate through here if you want for sure. But but everything we're going to need is in the bookmarks. Custom audience. So now all we want to do is make sure that Facebook starts to starts to put all these people in our custom audience, those that are watching a percentage of the video. We don't want to necessarily put a put put those that watch the whole video in the bucket in this audience because that won't be the biggest audience. And that's the thing about video audiences is that the majority of people are going to watch a percentage. They're not going to watch the whole damn thing. Like very few of us watch a full video of anything, right? But those that watch a percentage, that's all we're, we're after. So if it's a one minute video, maybe we'll, in fact, how, how long is the video? How many uh, minutes? Three, three minutes. Yeah. See, so 15 seconds of it, or maybe 25% of it, right? Those that watched 25% of my three minute video are in this audience. And we, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you all the different timestamps, but but normally that's what it is, either 15 seconds or, or 25%. So now here, this is this is this is what, what it's all about. It's creating these audiences, right? So again, this is the third and final step of this is we're gonna create the audience. So click the blue button, create audience. Every video that you're running an ad on. This is what, what you want to do. Cut custom audience. And then here, these are all the different sources that you can actually create an audience around. Now, again, when we when we first set up our, our business manager, I had you bookmark your Facebook page just to create the audience, right? And that's the first audience that you see in the background. We created on, that on 12.2. But that's not an audience you'll really retarget. <clears throat> so when it comes to all these different sources, in your particular case with your business, 99.999% of all the audiences that you'll ever create from this point on will be around website and video. That's okay. it. And if you're running lead forms, because a lot of people are, are, especially in your category of credit and even in the in the category of housing, in 2023, what I'm going to be teaching a lot is lead forms as well, running an ad to a lead form. So we'll be testing back and forth, running it to your landing page, running it to a lead form. Right. So so in that case, we'll create audiences around lead form as well. But for right now, website and video um, is, is where majority of all your audiences will be, will be built on. So in this case, we're going to go video. We're going to go video and then we'll hit next. And then um, now over here, we, the engagement hit that drop down. And this is where you'll see the different timestamps. So I can create an audience around those who watch three seconds of it, 10 seconds of it, 15 seconds of it. Right. So sometimes you'll put your consumer hat on. And, 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 and just from a consumer's perspective, if I sat here and I watched 15 seconds of this guy's video, is that enough time for me to recognize him? Because that's what this is all about, psychology. Me, if I saw 15 seconds of your video, I'll recognize you the next time I see your video. That's just me, right? 15 seconds is a long time, right, for me to sit here and watch 15 seconds of something. So that's kind of how you want to kind of judge it. I think fit either fit, anything from 15 and up, really. But but again, the higher you go up, it'd be great to create an audience of everyone who watched 95% of my video. For sure, that'd be awesome. But that audience would be small. 
correct. Right. Yes. And it might not be the best to retarget. Mm -hmm. And and I don't need someone to watch the full video. That's that's not even really what I'm shooting for. If if I can get if I can get your attention and and, and hold your attention for 15 seconds or or 25 percent, that's all I need. Because I'm gonna win you over when you when you see the next ad. I'm gonna win you over when you see my third video and fourth video and fifth video and sixth video. I'm gonna win you over by the time I keep digging into you. And and all you were were maybe someone in my audience that watched it for 15 seconds. You watched my first video seven videos ago for 15 seconds. And after that, I kept showing you video after video after video after video. Right. So so here, I guess what I'm trying to say is 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 either 15 seconds or 25 percent would be would be good. Um, 25 percent of three minutes is what? Um, it's obviously more than 15 seconds. So what is that like? Maybe 25 seconds? Mm -hmm. Like like yeah, three like, minutes? Yeah, you look at about forty seconds. Yeah, like forty seconds. So, so that could be that could be a good audience, right? Someone that watched forty seconds of your thirty of your three minute video. Um, but let's not overthink this. Go with fifteen seconds. That's fine. Fifteen seconds is a good amount of time. Fifteen seconds, um, and then simply choose videos. So right there in the blue, choose videos. Okay, choose to the right. Okay, right there. Yes. So here you're going to simply. It's the correct Facebook page. So let's get out of the Castle Rock audio yes. or auto. Um, and let's come down to your, your actual business page. And then you'll see your videos right here below. <clears throat> there is that video. And and so go to check the box to the left of it and then confirm at the bottom. It's funny because it says, hey, Eugene in Springfield. And then before we, when you look at it, it says, hello, Eugene. Yeah, so this is the one. Okay. Actually, did, yeah, I didn't pick up the edit that we just did a few minutes ago, but that's fine. That's that's the only video you have up there, so that that's the one. So confirm. And in the ad, in the ad part, it'll it'll say the it'll it'll, it'll, it'll show the new update. Okay. Um, so here retention retention, three sixty five. We're gonna bring that way down, way way down, because I don't I don't want Facebook to keep people in this audience for. Actually, you know what? It, because we're going to keep showing them future ads anyway so 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 leave leave the 365 that's fine because this is your this is your intro video so go ahead and go ahead and leave it leave it at 365 okay. the audience name pretty much what i named the um the the campaign title what did we name the the campaign title <clears throat> campaign title was introduction video of myself or something like that like what did you know awareness yeah yeah, yeah, that's the same one. So I'll just name it that. I wouldn't put the word awareness. What we're going to do, yeah, go ahead and name it the same introduction of myself video. And then in parentheses, it's not awareness. Here, in parentheses, here, it's 15 seconds. So introduction of myself video, um, and then in parentheses, 15 seconds. Perfect. And this is your custom audience. So we're going to click on the blue create audience. And now as we go into future ads and we set up the third ad and fourth ad and fifth ad, this could be an audience that you always retarget. Click on done. And that's it, man. So step one, posting on your business page. Step two, setting up the ad to go live. And then step three, creating your custom audience. Any questions on any of that? No, that sounds pretty simplistic. I mean, I don't want to say simplistic, but I mean, it, it, it makes sense. And I can definitely uh, work on that and follow through and <clears throat> I can I can definitely figure that out. Awesome.